Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Java course. If you want to do some conditional no statements, we don't always need to use the if or if else statements. If you have a finite number of input cases, you can consider using the switch command. So it is possible that we can use the switch um, command if we have a finite um, number of input cases. But we have to notice that the input cases have to be either integer or string values. So let us see some examples. Suppose I have a variable called e of study, which is going to um, mention the year of study of a certain student in a university. Suppose the year of study is already year 4. If the student is in year 4, we can say that this student is a senior student. So how can we make use of the switch command to help us um, denote the um, student? I can do something like this. I use the switch command followed by the value to be tested in parentheses. And then I use the case command. If the E of study is 1, I would print out the word freshman to indicate that an E1 student is a freshman. After doing the printing, I want to break. It means that I will leave the whole uh, switch statement. So I will do the uh, uh, instructions beyond the closing curly brace. If the student is in year 2, I can do similar things. The student is a sophomore student. How about year 3? I can do similar things. He is now a junior student. How about year 4? When, when the case is 4, I can print the student as the senior student. If the value shown on the variable is not one of these possible cases, we can still handle this situation by using the, the default keyword. We can simply say that the year of study is actually an invalid input. So let me save it and run it to see the result. Okay, since I input 4 as the year of study variable content, uh, the switch command would give me senior as the uh, printing result on the console. What about the situation when I forget or uh, to add the break keyword? like this here, save it, run it. Okay, I will also get the output called invalid input on the console. Why is this so? Because we don't uh, leave the uh, switch command or the switch uh, conditional statements. In this case, after doing the printing, we will still go to other um, cases m mentioned in the switch command so that I will go from case 4 to the default case. So in this case, I will still print out uh, the word in input. 
So that's the importance of using uh, the break keyword after each case in order to achieve our required um, classification for each of the uh, possible cases. Mm. Can we simply uh, group some number of cases into one category? Yes, we can by using the um, switch command. Let us see some examples like this. I have a t-shirt of size 5. I want to uh, categorize the t-shirt size according to the number. I do the switch command. What does it mean by these lines? If the size is 1, 2, or 3, I will go to print out uh, small to show the user that the size belongs to the small category. So I don't need to put any, uh, any of the statements for case 1 and case 2. If um, your size is actually 1, I will jump to the second line. But now for the second line, we still don't have some instructions to do. So we will jump to case 3. So in case 3, we will do the printing. And then we will break the uh, whole switch command by leaving the instructions beyond the closing curly bracket. So we can do similar things for other uh, size numbers. If the size is 4, 5, or 6, we will print out the word medium. We can do similar things for the large size. Of course, we can have the default case. When the size number is not 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, we can say that the input is invalid. Okay, let me say it again. I'm able to categorize uh, sizes 1, 2, or 3 into small, 5, 4, 5, and 6 to medium, and 7, 8, and 9 to large, according to the arrangement shown here. If the size is, for example, 5, I don't do, do anything, and I will go to the um, next case, because I don't have the break command, I will simply go um, forward to the next uh, case. And for the next case, I'm able to print out the word medium. And then I will break the whole switch um, command by leaving the closing curly, curly, curly bracket. Okay, let us see the result by saving it and running it. Okay, I will get the word medium for size number 5. When 5 is given to the size variable, I will uh, jump to case 6 because I don't have the keyword break between case 5 and case 6. So in this case, I will print out the word medium and then I will break the uh, switch command and I won't go to the default part. This is the end of the video. If you have any questions about my video, feel free to leave your comments on the comment section below the video. If you like this video, please give me a like and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.